at the same time to come up to the international level we need some hotels and all so that area is rich in that also so like Earls Regency and uh, we have Hunas Falls likewise so that area is uh, now equipped for the coming up coming any games Right, Minister. Now, from sports, uh, we will go to this uh, water supply because there is a project uh, for water supply, right? So, do you want to comment on the that project and how it will benefit the uh, province? Now, uh, when we talk about the um, water projects, we have a master <coughs> water project in Kandy. We call it Greater Kandy Water Project that is done by the central government, the Ministry of the Water. Uh, suppliers. It started some uh, in 1998, I suppose. Now the first day space is over. They co that cover covers uh, many areas in uh, close to the Scandi city limits. It is going to uh, several uh, Pradesh area. The, I mean divisional secretaries areas. Uh, many areas is covered. But at the same time, uh, I should say there are about more than 2,000. Uh, GS areas, Gram Sevak areas in our uh, province. So, out of them, so many Gram Sevak areas, they do not have sufficient water. We, we, we are getting enough rain. We are famous for rain and also uh, all the, these big rivers flowing from central hills. But, but there are villages, they have to walk for miles to get a pot of water. So, taking into that uh, this into consideration, we have implemented the project called uh, with the Ministry of uh, Min uh, his, uh, our Minister Honorable Dinesh Kumar. Uh, we have implemented the project called um, uh, CWSSP, that is uh, uh, second uh, uh, water project for the, our area. Uh, we cover about 590 Ramaseva divisions through that. It is not just uh, just supplying the water, but there is uh, a segment in that that is um, the health segment. We provide this uh, not just water taps or whatever it is, but uh, what we do is we get together with the people, the people oriented one, this one. So, the people who decide how to do this and they make have a of one organization in the village and they uh, select one person as the president and likewise. So what we do is the central government through the project that ministry is giving us uh, allocation and same time the provincial council is given the financial allocation and also the Pradesia Sabha is also giving some money for these projects and the people get together and do the project done. And same time, if the, when we have a project in that village, if they find the people, the, those, those who do not have the water supplies as well as who do not have the uh, facilities, sanitary facilities. So, built up sanitary facilities as well as all in these villages. Right. So, we, ha we are coming to the end of the discussion. Very quickly, uh, Minister, tell me in like one sentence or two, what is your vision for uh, the central province in 2015? How do you see the central province? 2004, when as I said earlier, I started with the vision. So, my target is, main objective is to be the best in Sri Lanka, best province in Sri Lanka by 2015. Okay, that is a very encouraging note to actually finish our discussion. And Minister, the concept I also found fascinating was the move to also shift uh, projects and um, a lot of other things out of the city limits of Kandy. So basically, we are also referring to the concept of returning to nature, which is sort of extremely important in a process of development and an all-inclusive pro uh, process of development without alienating the city. And uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Chief Minister, Thank you so much for touching on such a diverse range from tourism to industry to uh, water supply projects and uh, the highways is something again I wanted to touch upon but maybe it's, we'll leave it for another day. So thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you for watching us. Do join us tomorrow at the same time. Have a good night. Thank you so much.